it looks more like an environmental nightmare than an environmental solution. This is fly ash, the superfine residue left behind when coal is burned to generate electricity. For hundreds of years, these tiny particles have been polluting the atmosphere or building up in dams and dumps. Now this waste has been turned into a range of environmentally friendly building products. The products promise to slash emissions in the carbon-hungry construction sector. Scientists from the University of New South Wales have developed the world's first bricks and papers made totally from fly ash waste. When you are using fly ash, which is a waste material, considered to be a waste material, instead of using clay, which is much more uh, precious as a natural material, you use a waste material. Also rolling off production lines at a pilot plant in China is a lightweight aggregate, a gravel-like material which is mixed with cement to make concrete. It's the first fly ash aggregate to drastically reduce the amount of cement needed to make high-strength structures. It has won the approval of Chinese authorities. The surprise comes that this concrete, which is around 20% lighter, is also around 20% stronger. Called flash bricks and flash ag, the products address the enormous burden construction places on the global environment. Cement and concrete account for 10 to 12 percent of the world's greenhouse gas emissions. Construction in China alone creates the equivalent of another New York City every year. The world has arrived to a stage where it is not sustainable anymore to produce cement in the same rate as we are doing. If you're going to produce some CO2 for every tonne of cement that you make, then you need to look for other ways of replacing that product. And fly ash has been identified as a wonderful vehicle for replacing that product. Mm -hmm.